Fusion fam, what's up? What's going on? So we are at <laughs> Big Rock City Comic Con, huh? Huh? Yeah. Uh, and we're with a very special guest. Yes, Could you sir. introduce yourself to the people? Hello, my name is Cynthia Kranz, and I'm mostly known for Chi Chi on Dragon Ball Z. I also do Mrs. Briefs. I did Baby Broly, um, Yu Yu Hakusho, uh, Botan, One Piece, Bellamere, and a few other characters. Um, Mitzi from Shin Chan, um, Bellamere from, no, I did Bellamere, Panina from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And Man, so you've been in some of the, the greatest animes ever. Well, thank you. I got an early foot in the door. Yeah. <laughs> about 24 years ago. So. Oh, whew. Oh man, I, I lucked can, out. Oh man, cannot wait to get into this. <laughs> so we'll do a quick little intro. I'm Chad. And I'm Jeremy. And together, this podcast, nope. this tag team, Anime. this collective, <laughs> we are Fusion. <laughs> ha! <laughs> we normally get super loud and crazy, but we're gonna tone it down a smidge. Yeah, yeah we're now a sophisticated gentleman now. Yes, yeah, so where's my top hat monocle? <laughs> right. <laughs> Go ahead, Chad. So, so Miss Cynthia, so you were talking about you've been doing this for 24 years. Could you yes. kind of tell us one a little bit about your like your upbringing and childhood, and and if, and if any of that kind of led you into voice acting? Okay. Well, I was born in Fort Worth, Texas, and I, you know, my sister. And I would put on plays and things just for our parents, and you know, when I got into elementary and middle school, I would do the theater things okay. in high school, and and I, I went to college in Mississippi at Ole Miss, and um, I was doing monologues in my room just for fun for myself, and I was like, you know, I must really like this. Maybe I should. I was a history major because I didn't know what I was going to do. Yeah. But but then I decided maybe I will down the road check out acting. So I had to audition to be a part of the theater program. And then I bought a book called The Business of Acting and started reading just, you know, yeah. the business side of it. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I graduated, I came back to Texas and um, started auditioning for all the local community theater I could do. Mm -hmm. Started taking commercial class. Dallas is a big commercial, kind of like Houston. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, started taking all kinds of classes, got an agent, and about six years into it, um, a friend of mine who worked for our local pop culture newspaper called the Dallas Observer, oh. he placed ads. He uh, called me and said, there's this cartoon, you have to audition for it. And I, I just didn't have the confidence because I'd never done voiceover work. And I was like, okay. And he knew I wasn't. So the next day he called me and the next day. And so finally <laughs> I made an appointment. Like SpongeBob in the next day. In the next, the next day. day. The next day, wow. So I went and... Um, Funimation had just acquired the um, the rights from the Canadian uh, from Ocean Dub. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. And so they had my experience was to try to voice match all the females but the ironic part is none of Chi Chi's lines were her, her hysterical, angry or crazy or crying yeah. you got a phone call oh. yeah. <laughs> we'll just stop that right there That happens. <laughs> so my line was oh well boys will be boys has she ever sounded like that? no Negative. <laughs> no, so, not at all and then you, normally when you get cast in something you immediately find Find out when your call time is, what date. A month goes by. I literally, I found it on my 30th birthday that I got it. So it's oh really man, that's a good birthday. That's a great birthday yeah. present. It was. I didn't know what Dragon Ball Z was or anime at that really? point. Oh no, really? I had no idea. You know what's so dope that the fact that you were talking about the ocean, though, which honestly that's my favorite version of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I know people hated it when we took over. We got really? hate mail. Really? 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 Yeah, they were not that... impressed because that was like oh, wow. what they'd seen. We got through episode like in the 50s and yeah. now it changes to a new cast and everybody's yeah, like yeah. what's going on <laughs> <laughs> that's not the voice off of me Ugh. yeah <laughs> and I, I hate change when it comes I to do voice too acting. I hate it like soap operas they'd be like the role of oh, Elizabeth yeah. is now being played by and I'm like what <laughs> <laughs> kind of like Aunt Viv in the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air yes like, <laughs> 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 yeah. something looks a little different about Aunt Viv I don't know 
what it is, oh. Like the fourth wall with that. At yeah. least the soap operas tell you. Yeah. 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 But, um, so I didn't hear from Chris Sabat. So I called him a month later and said, did I make up that I got this part? He's like, no, no, you just haven't come in yet. And then another month, I called him, are you sure I didn't make it up? No, no. So it was at least three months before she came in. It was the... Um, I think it was the Frieza saga. Oh, okay. That's about right. Yeah. yeah that's when they changed it. And yeah. Frieza is one of my dearest friends now. We do a lot of conventions and signing that's events together. Linda. I love Miss Linda. Linda. Oh, we do too. Have you met her? Yeah. No, so he likes her because no, he likes no, don't you? He did against somebody. No, we come on. Him. The guy who made this shirt, he was okay. No. So this is a thing that we did. Uh, we did <laughs> oh, come a on. Debate if Goku's a good, good bad dad. Right, okay. right. That's the ongoing. Which I want you to know that is a question I'm going to ask you yeah. later. So just keep it back here. I'm going to ask you later. I can't wait for hey, you to respond. Yeah. So I put that thing, so I put that little uh, live we did on a generator, right? And that happened to be one of the clips that came up. So I posted it all over the internet. And it went bananas. Yes. And so the guy who made this shirt, shout out to Doug. Yeah. What's up, Doug? He was like, check. Quit talking trash about Goku. And, get that <laughs> and these guys got like WWE title belts. And they're just going back and forth and so yeah we're we'll talking about your husband that's all thank you I appreciate it so getting back to you though what's up with Dallas or Fort Worth Dallas area about actors and stuff like that I noticed that I keep hearing the same stories from different voice actors and you know all that stuff it seems what's, to be like, it's a, like a hub, hub. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's a hub of actors and actresses it always was like a lot of it's a right to work state here in Texas mm -hmm. so a lot of films will come here or commercials because they can get us at a cheaper rate than in oh, LA God. or New York. <laughs> oh, but guess what? We got to work when, you know, I didn't want to have to go to an either coast to do what I do. So, um, but what happened specifically with anime was the guy that owns Funimation, or the, I think they were a partnership, okay. were based out of here. And so that's oh, yeah. why. And then when Crunchyroll bought it, no, Sony bought it and fused yeah. it with Crunchyroll. I think they were like, it's a pretty good deal getting this cheap labor. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know. The American women. I know that we're not making near union scale, but just to get paid to do what you love is yeah. really fun. I love hearing that. Yeah. That's beautiful. You hear the passion in your voice. Like, you really love <laughs> yeah. what you do. It's I so do. Cool. I really do. So, could you tell us about something when you talked about Bowman? So, Botan, I believe Yu Yu Hawker Show is one of the most complete animes that's ever been created like the story is great all the characters are great you don't really see that a lot and in, in not even just like anime but TV shows you know so can I you kind of explain uh, I guess your process for getting Botan like getting the role of Botan and becoming Botan yes okay so I a couple of years doing Dragon Ball Z and then they showed me you know audition sides for this new show and I had seen a Steven Spielberg movie called Always Okay. and it had Holly Hunter John Goodman um, Richard Dreyfuss and um, it was Audrey Hepburn's last film Oh, okay. beautiful Audrey Hepburn and yeah. she played a character where this guy dies in a plane crash he doesn't know he's dead Oh. he doesn't know he's dead he thinks he saved the day and he's like all puffed <laughs> up and he's walking through the burnt out forest and there's this beautiful patch of green and a deer goes by and there's a cherry blossom tree and there's this beautiful woman in white and she had a British accent and she's like his spirit guide and so now he's got to go and mentor the guy doesn't know he's got a spirit guide but he's got to go yeah. mentor another pilot okay. it's a great movie if you haven't seen it and I don't know I just was inspired by that I love that movie and then when I got cast they didn't want it too British so they kind of made it transcontinental, kind of in between American and English, and that was weird. They yeah. just maintain that. <laughs> I'm thinking about her voice, and now yeah, that you're saying that, that, I'm yeah. hearing When it. I auditioned, it was very boat on here. You know, I was yeah. doing British, and they're like, ah, we like it, but less on that. So that was kind of weird. <laughs> so, um, because I always see his name on everything. Yeah. Funimation. Yeah. Justin Cook. I'm assuming that's the guy on 
I got him. I'm a, we, get, look, we get a little closer. Yeah. No, I'm joking. Um, you work with him a lot, right, Justin Cook? I did. He, now he's a, one of the main producers. <laughs> really? Yes. And see, he was also a musician and an actor and a director. Oh, wow. And so, but he also has the right disposition to deal with the corporate stuff. Very professional, oh, yeah. very yeah. composed. It takes a very special personality. Yeah, I yeah. heard an interview from uh, Chuck Hoover, like I think a year ago or whatever, and he said, yeah, he does not get mad. And like, you know, I bet a, a he lot just of keeps it like, like this. He's just yeah, like, mm -hmm. he's chill. He's chill. He's really, really? great. Yeah. And you're the second person, I, you know, because I just heard it yesterday. So mm -hmm. literally within 24 hours, I'm hearing about Justin Cook being like this chillax individual. He is. And at the time, he didn't have a car yet. And Ooh. we lived close to one another. And so he would book my sessions in the morning. <laughs> and I would be his ride to work. <laughs> and he what? even made me come in on a snow day. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, come on, just. I was like, for on real? A snow day? That's crazy. Just, that's cold as like, I, <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you I did there. I heard it. There. <laughs> Go ahead, Chad. Your turn, homie. Oh, man. So, I have to ask. So, we're talking about uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. How much do you love Small Ball? The intro song to Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh, I love it. She moved the camera. My wife. You see yeah, see? Yeah, it's, it's, it's so I good, know. right? It's really good. It is really good. I, I, so I was listening to it. So like, y'all can judge me if you want, but I totally work out the anime in the gym. Like, oh, cool. I do it like all the time, like the uh, openers. <laughs> and I was like listening to Small Bomb, of course, and like the original, like the Japanese version came on. I was like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, oh, I was like, the English one, man. Like the English one is my jam. Do you know who, who sings the English one? Oh, I cannot remember her is it, name. Is it Stephanie Nadalmi? I have. No I cannot. Idea. It might be. I know she's done some of the English dub songs. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah we'll put that. We'll put that right here. Well, I don't but, know if she did, but she is a singer, um, a professional singer, and I know she did some of the intros. I think there's okay. a good chance it was her. I don't really? know. Oh. Yeah. So I'm looking down here. I didn't even know you played Boma's mom. Oh yeah. I did. I just How love her. How did that happen? Like, how you, like hey, you should, you should do this, Cynthia. They did. They said, can you do a Betty Boop voice? And I went, hold on. I went, oh, my, you're so handsome. And they said, because her eyes are closed, so she kind of looks, she looks like she's from, like, the 50s or something. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. So she just, I mean, that's not a very, I'm really tired, so that's not the best version of that voice. But I was just like, no, Betty just, Boop. Yeah, this is great. yeah, I knew exactly who that was. Yeah. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I love her. I wish she was more stuff. She's just a breath of fresh yeah. air. Yeah, she is. She's always cool. Flirting and offering yeah. snacks yeah. and watering her plants and humming and twirling around. I love her. I love her. Like the total opposite of Bulma, man. Like the Bulma. opposite of Chi Chi, too. Oh, and definitely Chi Chi. Oh my gosh. Jeez Louise. Man, so now I have to ask this question. Oh, oh I'm so happy. This is so great. So, the one thing that's on the internet is that everyone says that Goku is a bad dad. Mm -hmm. You as Chi Chi, what do you think about that? I think he sucks. <laughs> Yes. I think that. Yes. I think that. Yes. This is this is a. T I think that he's gone all the time, and I think that how are we paying our bills? And what if he gets killed? And what if he gets my son killed? And Piccolo's a better better dad. Oh God, I think. No. Yes. Oh my God! This is the best day. This is the best day. This is the best day, Jeremy. You can't, <laughs> Jeremy. This is a TKO, now, dude. Now that's <laughs> Chi Chi's opinion. My. Wait, wait, wait. That's not my opinion. That's Chi Chi's opinion. Okay. My opinion is that she knew what she did when she tricked him into marrying her. What? She knew what? that he was a fighter and yes. now it's like the girl that marries the rock star and then wants him to get a day job. Yeah. And white picket fence. And I'm like, that ain't cool. I don't care. I'm still right. <laughs> I don't know that that makes him, I don't think that makes him a good dad, but she knew what, I mean, she tricked him. I don't think you should trick yeah. people into getting married. Yeah. <laughs> and and I can't believe he fell for that. That's so funny. He, he, thought, he, he thought it was food. Yeah. I was say he thought it was food. That's hilarious. It was food. A wedding 
This is not food. <laughs> there is food at weddings, I guess, but cake. <laughs> yeah, cake. cake. There you go. Look at cake. <laughs> oh my God. That's all. It was little kids. Yeah. About it. I always tell this guy. That guy's a orange jumpsuit. Redneck, man. He from the backwoods, man. Yeah. Come on. He's a, he's man. A, he didn't know. He's a country bumpkin, is he's what you're saying? Bumpkin. Yes. She picked him out and yeah. made him marry her. Yeah, yeah. this is true. This is definitely Dad true. Was a king. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but as Chris Abbott said when he's like, You're a princess, but you're like a trash princess. Like you're not <laughs> <he> said that. <laughs> a trash princess. Oh you're trashy. God. You're rough. Like because when we started out, her voice was more maternal sounding, and yeah. he's like, yeah. I want her more rough. She is rough. She is not classy. Oh, yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah. 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 Well, and if you look at how she's drawn, her mouth is in rectangles, ah, that, bubbles yeah. coming out of it. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, where that lovely voice came from. But I get it. But yeah. do you think no. he's a good dad? Uh, I, I can say you can't save the world with hugs. And you know, everybody, in, including this fellow here, thinks that Goku's a bad father because he's always gone. He's gone because he's dead. And I always say you cannot pay child support from heaven. <laughs> That's true. Ooh. Oh, ooh, ooh, let me uh, bring up Exhibit A, <laughs> the Cell Saga. Don't make me bring it. Don't make me bring it up. Oh, oh now you're gonna pay with today. You you you, you won that day. You won today on that one. You won today. She's a star. You are the star. Now ask her another question. Right, right, right. So, Miss Cynthia. So, outside of you no know, voice acting and things like that, let's say it's a Friday evening, six six p.m. What do you like to do? I like to make um, a cocktail. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, I'm not mad at that. And just oof, decompress and see what... Now, I would like... My husband and I have different tastes in... We have the same taste in movies, but okay. he's a big on watching the news loop around and just get mad at it. Oh. I want <laughs> I want to see it once a day and be done with yeah. it and then watch fun things. So if I had control over it, I would be finding something fun and uplifting to watch. Okay. Um, but usually he gets the first couple of hours, and so I get on my phone and just read my news. Oh, uh, okay. But my news isn't scary news. My news is like... You know, Hollywood celebrities or Psychology okay. Today or yeah. food, you know. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> I love to read. I love if there's a really good book. I love biographies. Oh, okay. What's the last biography you read? <laughs> um, Right now, I'm three-fourths through Jimi Hendrix. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That's interesting. <clears throat> yeah. My wife's like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. He's so interesting. And it's done all by interviews with people. So it mm -hmm. starts when he's young. Okay. With, with his aunts that survived him and now he's kind of hitting his peak but so it goes chronologically in different musicians and different producers everybody's just saying and this happened and this happened and really? mm -hmm. you, uh, I'm curious to ask do they have like the Ozzy brothers on there too talking about him because I heard he did some work with the he did he did yes. Engelbert Humperdinck like they were put together and he's like Damn. what is going on <laughs> <laughs> and he people got mad because they would come to see Engelbert and Jimmy would be there and they're like they did and they took their kids to see Engelbert Humperdinck God. and then there's you know what Jimmy freaking yeah. yeah yeah so yeah. Um, that was kind of it's fascinating I've always been fascinated by him really how come if you don't mind me asking I just love him I love his music I love the way he plays guitar I love his style I love how just laid back he was um, I went to a convention um, soccer con in Seattle in, I guess it was 2010 or 11. Yes. And we got to go to their Space Needle and see their pop culture museum, which was featuring Nirvana and Hendrix. Got to see his guitar. Oh, nice, got to nice. see Nirvana's lyrics. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't know. I'm just, I love that. I really want to go see the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I want to go to, you know, Paisley Park. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, Paisley Park. Have yeah. yeah. Well, I well, never, hopefully. I don't plan it. The anime 
conventions usually give you time off during the day, mm -hmm. whereas Comic Cons you work ten to six. Yeah. Okay. I need to start planning a day when I'm in, you know, somewhere to just go see that. Like I get there like a day earlier or something. Yeah. You know, like Stay see the size. Like, yeah. Have to. Yeah. I do have to. You're so polite. Like keep sharing the mic. Yeah. With me. I'm telling. It's gonna catch me. I'm, yeah. Oh, I love you for this. <laughs> um. Uh, so. The One Piece. We gotta go to the One Piece. Okay. How did you prepare for that character? Now I'm doing like a chat question. Yeah. How you prepare for that? You know that character there? Cause I think a lot of this happened to catch it. My wife was watching it, and I was like, "Oh, that's Chi-Chi." <laughs> that was me. <laughs> that was me. It's like Funimation news. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. For one, what means a thousand episodes? So or over a thousand episodes. So how you became this? You know, I mean, Chi-Chi's gangster too. <laughs> yeah. But not quite. I mean, no. Nah. You want to talk rough? No, Bella, man. Oh, yeah. Out of the neck, oh, yeah. Shaved head. Yeah. Faux hawk. She, about, yeah. she had a full hog before full hogs were a thing. Oh, really? I know. That's amazing. Because, like, 1999, y'all got to remember this. Yeah, oh, 1999. yeah. 1999. And, like, we just got into Nam. That's. That, Japan ooh. was just way ahead of us on. I know, style, yeah. fashion, right? Yep. Yeah. And I remember when I first started doing anime, they were like, you're the blue haired one. I'm like, who has blue hair? <laughs> the pink haired one. I never dreamed it would be <laughs> real in our real life and, and you see the camera yeah. person right there got no, green hair, green hair. <laughs> so yeah how do you like um do oh let me ask this question overall for each character that you play each female character mom i mean mama's mom chi chi uh all that how do you prepare for that role or they just say what's up and you like they don't tell you what's up what i got called in and i they were like okay so you're playing the adoptive parent of nami and you know and you're just taking care of them and you know we're in our orchard and picking fruit and okay. la 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 and then it comes the death scene and Ooh, they don't yeah. tell me i see a gun in my face so what oh, happens wow. when so you get a text from the talent coordinator saying can you be at this studio at this time on this day and you may or may not know what show it is and so that day i didn't i just knew it was mike mcfarland and um so she did two or three episodes and then literally you have two screens, one with all the action on it right. uh -huh. and one with all the lines and you watch it once in Japanese. You don't get a chance to memorize any scripts or even read them. Whoa. So you you watch it once and then you're also trying to read the lines and then they say, are you ready? And you're like, you hear three beeps and what would be the fourth beep, you start talking. Oh. So you don't really have time to do yeah. any, any preparing. Your preparing is just be ready. <laughs> For anything. <laughs> that's, that's that's intense. A skill. No, that is it's intense. It's hard. It is hard. I mean, that people are like, "How do you get to be a voice actor?" I'm like, "Be an actor. You, your your skill set has to be really um, already honed in because you don't have time to think about and prepare. You're so busy dubbing. You better just have some acting skills. I get so frustrated when like A-listers do a prelay, you know, Disney or Pixar. And they complain about how hard it is because they they don't get to interact with people. I'm like, dude, imagine having to <laughs> dub something and not having the um, flexibility to say the line how you would say it because they don't stop for punctuation. You've got to keep mouth flapping, really? but make it sound like the end of the sentence without leaving any space between. Their cadence of speaking is so different yeah, than ours. Yeah, that is. Wow. So that makes dubbing sense. Dubbing is a whole different skill than yeah. the acting, and it's harder to me than the acting yeah, is. Really? That makes sense, but I wouldn't, I, I did not expect that. that. But it makes total sense. Wow. Well, because since we're dubbing, we can't all be in there. Yeah. Or it would just be a train wreck. Yeah, yeah, cluster, just everybody talking all over each other. It would be so much fun. Yeah. yeah I, I, I imagine that's what, what, what happened like, originally. Even yeah. Was, uh, another voice actress, the same thing. I was like, who's your favorite? And I was like, you know, do y'all hang together or whatever? You know, he was like, no, nah, we don't do all that. We used to. When it was a small family-owned company, uh -huh. and there were about 20 of us, we had Christmas parties, we had cast parties. Uh, yeah, 
and it was a lot of fun and it just it grew and grew and grew and now there's just now it's corporate it went from yeah. family yeah. to corporate Sony owns it now so and I'm not yeah. sad about that yeah. there's some things I miss about the old days yeah. but, but not the process the old days we had um, VHS tapes <laughs> and a television set on the other side of the glass in the booth and a paper script and you know we didn't know what any of it was or how to do it and um, so now you know it's more smooth yeah however back then we weren't simul dubbing so we had time you didn't have to rush projects yeah. so you had time to make them really as thoroughly well yeah. as you could yeah, but, but we had to compete with the people that were pirating out the Japanese subs <laughs> yeah <laughs> so now that's why we it's, it's um, up. that is why we simuled up huh yeah uh, <laughs> yeah so yeah that, that, that makes sense because yeah now it's because I'm sorry because yeah now like my kids like we all watch anime and so we've met voice actors and, and like you you explain the process of what it takes so like it's funny because I hear my kids like they'll be watching my hair academia and they're like where's the English version I want that now but it's like they work so I'm like they work so hard you have to give them a chance <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, you give us a game. Oh Anybody my gosh! Talk, you yes, you the one that is like laying the game of voice acting. What do you mean? As what do you mean by you, that? You've been very thorough. Jeremy, and please tell me more. You're swing. I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, well, what I'm saying is like you're, you're giving like you dropping. Uh, God, that's more slang. You're telling us how it works, like the yeah. intricacies. Yeah. Of because you, you would never know that, so, and I yeah. think yeah. people like to know. I get that's yeah. kind of those are some of the questions we get asked the most. No, and really, and, okay. And I'm, it's funny because you yeah. threw it out at us, and I was like, Yeah, yes. man. It's, it's, <laughs> it's from doing panels because a lot of times we do panels. Someone will say, How did you get into it? And what is the process? And so um, it's such an unusual process. I mean, theater, yeah. you rehearse. Commercials, you at least get the sides in advance, and you know, yeah. film, you rehearse. This is literally improvisational acting on the dubbing, acting on the spot. And I know yeah. there's a lot of voice actors too, uh, actors and actresses, and respect the ladies. Yeah. That they do a lot of improv, like on the side, or they've done it prior to doing because it. Yeah. It's well that I started taking them because most of my commercial auditions didn't come with sides. It'd be like, all right, ladies, y'all are shopping. You're getting ready for the big party. Oh. You're eating this yogurt and go. And, and I was yeah. like, well, <laughs> so I started taking it. <laughs> Put on two of my hands. Or, like the handful of times that they had a script, by the time I got there, it was completely different. So I started taking improv for that. Okay. But then learned it is such a difficult, interesting, and fun skill. Dang. I wasn't. I was good at learning it, but I wasn't good at then incorporating it into scene work where I could be part of an improv company. I but I use the tools I learned in it all the time. Dang. It okay. really is huh. helpful if anybody that wants to start acting takes some improv classes. Huh. Hey, yeah. I hear that a lot. Even yeah. Chris Rager told me over the phone. Bill, a Rager, Chris Rager, it's Chris Rager. 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 Yeah. Oh, I apologize. No, Respect. Improv, improv, improv to play. That's improv a, is key. The first time I saw him, and now I went to see Mike. Mike McFarland invited us to their improv show at Ozona's in Dallas, and I went, and there was uh, Josh and Chris. Yeah, the, tag, the ultimate tag team. And that's how he got it. Chris Sabat, he being Josh, Chris Sabat came to see the show, and he did something where he was doing a rap as the Pillsbury, Pillsbury homeboy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we interviewed Josh. All right. Yeah. Don't you love him? Is there oh, anyone he's the cooler? Best. Oh, he's man. so like... So on our on our actual podcast, we interviewed him while he was getting a tattoo of the Majin M oh my uh, on the back yeah. of his cow. Yeah. Of his course you did. Yeah. So during the interview, he did oh, he that. He does the funniest things. Um... <laughs> During COVID, he recorded himself in a bathrobe doing random things around the house. <laughs> it's called what, Dance Party in My Closet. And okay. so he raps about it, and I paid my bills, and I went to the store, and I, I mowed the lawn, and, I, and then Dance Party in My Closet. And it is so funny. Please Google that video. Oh, I'm going to. Oh. Like, yeah. it is, it makes me laugh to, like, cry. And the two of them together. Yeah. 
yeah. just uh, I haven't gotten to be at shows with them this past year. I usually see them a few times a year. Yeah. So I miss them. Question. You mentioned Linda Young. Chad's favorite apparently now. <laughs> she she liked his promo. Um, how did y'all become friends? Or we hey, all? Yeah, drinking buddies on show. Well, no, we do. We'll have a cocktail. I mean, we don't go, like, <laughs> <laughs> tear up the town and paint it red or anything, but um, we have crashed a wedding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wedding crashers, <laughs> huh? Um, okay, so we, I knew who she was, of course, but didn't spend time together until my, our agent put us together at some shows and some signing events, mm -hmm. and so we've ended up traveling the country together a lot of times just the two of us but sometimes with the group like we have here and you really get to know each other on a long road trip yeah yep. oh yeah <laughs> that's, that's professional true. wrestlers yeah i guess it really is and we just yeah. we have a lot in common and um she is so funny i mean first of all that frieza would be such a sweet christian lady <laughs> and elegant and charming and she's you know killer <laughs> Love, so. yeah. and then, but then, she, because she is such a sweet Christian lady, a lot of other actors are afraid that they'll offend her because she's Linda Young. Yeah. But I'm like, no, she's hysterical. She'll throw it back at you. She's not going to use cuss words, but she will. She loves to spar and throw it back. And she's really? well. That you've got to think that kind of is true. She had to do a rap as Frieza. I didn't get that. She got paid to do a Frieza. No, rap. I did. I did. Just based off. We're not going to say the situation that happened but the situation that happened remember when we were at with the con dude, but yeah dude, but she was also kind of participating in it too and laughing with it so that's she what but that's it. why it's like that's I, how she is she she's real bit. everything you see is how she is all the time yeah i've never okay. seen her in a bad mood i'm sure she's not always in the best mood but i mean yeah. she's just easygoing she's level-headed she's very smart very funny very kind wow. wonderful person yeah. cool it is cool I know, man, but this is so this is so much fun. So, so actually, how we first met you, we all bonded over <laughs> adulting, which is amazing. I'm glad you're asking this question. Yeah. <laughs> so, on top of being an amazing voice actress, could you also tell us your other thing that you do, if you want to? Okay, yeah, if you want yeah. to. If, if you want to. So I, um, as I said, I bought the book, The Business of Acting, and I mm -hmm. learned acting happens during business hours, so you need another job to pay your bills that's flexible and real estate turned out to be the thing for me okay so I used to <laughs> I used to work with housing sales but I was 25 years old who wants to buy a house from a realtor that's never even owned a home so a friend of mine invited me to come check out apartment locating so I switched to that and okay. that's what I do now <laughs> yeah by the way kids men and women we just have to come to this table. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Yeah. You know, and we start talking about people moving out of Texas. Yeah. The weather. Oh, all the weather. The weather. Driving oh. everybody away from Texas that came two years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, then, and COVID's over. Get out. And she was like, and yeah, I do realtor. And I'm like, wait, yeah. what? Yeah. Chi-Chi does. Chi-Chi's yeah. yeah. selling. That's, yeah. that's how the bills get paid. Chi -Chi's, so Chi-Chi's a real, so Chi-Chi sells houses on the side is what you're saying. Yeah. That makes sense. So Goku definitely doesn't have, have a job. Gotta side gigs. There you go. Now, my husband is the true breadwinner. I just try to stay out of his pockets and contribute what I can <laughs> with all my jobs. We also are pet sitters. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey. So, you just, is it mostly like dogs or is it dogs? We'll take a dog or a cat into our house. My sister has a pet sitting business where she goes and house sits and, or oh, feeds okay. your animals or okay. waters your plants and stuff. Um, we have a awesome some German Shepherd that's not alpha, that's fine with any kind of cat or dog and reads their energy. Do they want to engage or they want to be left alone? So we can take, and we just take your pets in and treat them like we snuggle them and we send you pictures of them and we play with them and instead of being boarded up at a kennel, they're hanging out at our house. That is the best job in existence. It's a great yeah. job. Getting snuggled to death by puppies is the best thing ever. Fascinating. Yeah. Man, my voice <laughs> Wow. And I snuggle puppies. And I puppies. <laughs> you can't beat yeah, that. This is what you want to spot. This is this is gold right here. Well, I think most people would like to think, no, 
oh, they've made it. They're on a show that's on TV. It's like, no, oh, we get hourly wages, which are generous, but not near union. Right. And we don't get residuals. And so unless you are like a Chris Sabat or Sean Schimmel, you know, and you're working all the time, right. you're generally going to, most of, most of the actors have another gig. They could be like writing scripts or directing. Okay. Um, I just happened to have chosen this before I even knew what anime was. That's cool. <laughs> I get to work from home, so it works out. Yeah, oh, you can't beat that. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the thing now that uh, actors and actresses, well, voice actors and actresses do, right? Like, I, work from home. Now that I can't, I can apartment locate from home. But oh. I am not an engineer, so during COVID, I set up a studio and all that, but yes. I couldn't work it without the engineer on the other side in my headphones telling me what to do. All I with the knobs and everything. So I just went in. Yeah, I ain't mad. And now they really want us in Crunchyroll because they spent so much money on the new studio. Oh, oh yeah, they're oh, like, yeah. they're like, and oh it, yeah, and they want the work. sound to be all consistent and everything. Makes sense. And I prefer it. Yeah, I would too, personally. Yeah, like they pay for it. I want to work. Yeah, send me in my own closet, like. <laughs> Sitting there yelling, <laughs> you know. Goku, get back here! <laughs> right? Yeah, it was a lot. Oh. It was a lot. So, out of all the animes you've done, or just anime in general, what is your favorite one? Or do you watch anime? Not a lot. Yeah. My what favorite one. My favorite one to watch was Shin Chan, and it was my Shin favorite Chan. one to voice because it was so funny. Oh yeah, Shin Chan is crazy. <laughs> That's a wild show. I know. Yeah. I love it. That's my sense of humor, though. Oh. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I was so sad when they decided not yeah. to do it anymore. But um, I obviously love Dragon Ball Z and Chi Chi. She was my first, and she's still happening. Yeah. And um, then Botan, and then Mitzi, and then I'd have to say Bellamere after that, and Panina. I love all these nutballs. <laughs> so, if you could pick any one of your characters that have their own show, which character would you pick? Um, I'm going to have to say Mrs. Briefs. <laughs> Mrs. Briefs? That would actually be really good. It's the Mrs. Briefs show. Do, 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 do. It's Briefs. La, 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 la. <laughs> No, I just love her. I don't know that she has enough going on to have her own show, but I just think she's a hoot. I could actually, I actually see that. Yeah, That's she's I'm, rich. Yeah, she could actually. She's no. rich. She really take, could. Take I like it. to think she's not a gold digger. I think she really loves him, but yeah. she looks young and yeah, yeah. sassy. She's yeah. of age. Yeah, look, <laughs> yeah. Guys, you know. Mr. Briefs is very lucky. He got yeah. lucky in that one. <laughs> Cause man. And Bulma's lucky to have a nice stepmother. Yeah. Oh, Mine yeah. was not nice. So. Oh, really? Well, it's not like there plenty. There's a reason they wrote Cinderella. I mean, it's the oldest story. <laughs> but um, I don't feel bad. My mom's husband. Yeah. yeah. But she's kind yeah. of a fairy stepmother, so she's I like cool. her. Yeah. She is cool. I understand. We have yeah. both sisters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Oh my God. You're lucky, Chad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I am. I am. I guess. <laughs> oh man, this has been so. Oh my God, this is like been like the most happy accident that's ever happened. For me too. Yeah. You guys are no, so fun. No, no, no. It's a good. You no, know, it's a good thing. Like this is just like chance, and it's so I, good. Yeah, this is Tenta, you are amazing. You are. I think so y'all are amazing. Oh come on. That's true. So, 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 yeah. We talked for like finger, thirty minutes before I even know they knew they did a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about houses. Yeah. In Texas. Yeah. Weather. <laughs> and dumb <Yeah>. HOAs. <laughs> Defund the HOAs. Yeah, oh, that's funny. That's still funny. Yeah, that is hilarious. And here we are. Yeah. Chilling yeah. right here. Talking to freaking Chi Chi. At Bed Rock City <laughs> Comic Con. Yeah. We're, we're all that. And Jeremy and Chad. <laughs> oh, that's us. <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, I mean, you're really flattering us. Right yeah, now. man. Like, trying to blush. Yeah. <laughs> you are blushing. <laughs> It's been a pleasure. It it's has been, been. Yeah, it really has been. Thank you so much Thank for doing you. this. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Y'all are great. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Well, oh, so we got to end this. So, tell 
your audience. It's not ours. It's your audience. Yeah. Where they can find you. Social media is all that stuff. Yeah, I'm, I really don't do the X thing. I really wasn't good at the Twitter. And I like to put the in front of it because yeah. I am like the parent that's like the Twitter, the Facebook. <laughs> um, so I don't really do much on X, which sounds so weird to say. Um, Facebook, Cynthia Kranz. Um, and... Um, Oh my god, I got an hour and a half sleep last night. What's the other Instagram? Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Cynthia Kranz. <laughs> yep, yep. Right now, yeah, we'll yeah, we'll put it out here I just did. for you. Yeah, and you can find us uh, at Fusion Hot Podcast. You can catch us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, X slash Twitter sometimes. <laughs> threads if we're feeling threadish. Um, especially our YouTube channel. Check that out, uh, Fusion Hot Podcast. Uh, Jay, hit him with the audio, sir. Uh, so, catch just so I, oh, thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> iTunes, iHeart, uh, Bullhorn, no BS, uh, Stitcher, or wherever you find your podcast. Man, Miss Angie, thank you <gasps> thank again. You. This has been amazing. Thank I've had so a much. blast. Thank you. Well, guys, it's Fusion High, and we're out this thing. <laughs> magic. <laughs> it's magic. Jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs>